Hey, yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So, in today's video, we have the Lapa SMG in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. And the main reason I'm covering this gun is because my boy here in the comments section wanted me to do a video on it. So, uh, here we are, and uh, guys, it's not gonna disappoint you guys trust me so just to give you guys a little heads up on this we dropped like over 100 kills and a nuke as well and if you guys don't know the lapa isn't the best smg in the game it's not even close to being the best smg in the game but it's still a really fun weapon to use so you're gonna see in today's video the best class up to make it a viable weapon to use in call of duty black ops cold war all right so starting off guys our very first attachment is going to be the microflex led optic sight this is personal preference of course it's not gonna like change the stats on the weapon weapon by any means but uh guys I mean, this is probably hands down the best sight for the gun. I don't like the iron sights too much on the Lapa. I feel like they're really bulky and just blocky on the screen. So Microflex LED is the sight I'm going to be using in today's video. All right, so moving on to the barrel, we get the Ranger barrel. It's going to increase our effective damage range and bullet velocity. The other barrel that's pretty good to use is the light tactical and BR compact. But honestly, I don't think the extra damage and fire rates worth the loss of effective damage range and bullet velocity because this gun already lacks in both of those departments. And unfortunately, if you guys want a gun to be good, you guys definitely need a bullet velocity. So the Ranger barrel is going to increase our bullet velocity by 66% and our effective damage range by 17%, which is going to make it a more viable weapon at those a little bit longer ranges like medium ranges otherwise if you guys don't have this barrel on this thing is literally only good at like like right up in the face all right for the grip we got the field agent grip vertical recoil control and horizontal recoil control is are what we are going to improve both of those are very beneficial especially with the lapa and uh, you're going to see that in today's video for the magazine we got the 40 round mag you guys can also run the stand mag 50 round mag i try to stay away from the fast mags because uh the simple fact that they decrease our ads by quite a bit as you guys can see a 25 percent decrease in our ads speed something we do not want because if you guys are going to be playing aggressive especially with an smg you guys want the ads speed as fast as possible whereas the 40 round mag isn't going to take away any ads speed it's only going to take away our reload quickness by about 10 percent and fortunately for us the lap really does not load all that slow so uh, you're not really going to feel that all that much all right last but not least we get the airborne elastic wrap it's going to increase our ads speed by 30 percent our flinch resistance by 90 percent and best of all guys it's going to allow us to drop shot while adsing so for you aggressive players out there that are playing on different button layouts and love to drop shot this is an attachment you guys should be running on the Lapa. It's a really good attachment. And on top of that, it's going to increase our ADS speed by 30%. Like I said earlier, we try to keep that ADS speed super high. So the higher the ADS speed is, the more chances are that you're going to have to win these gunfights up close and personal. So keep that in mind when you guys are making attachment choices here. And this is why I chose the airborne elastic wrap. All right, so that's pretty much going to wrap up our Lapa build, guys. And if you guys enjoy this build, make sure you guys like the video, comment down below, and subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you guys don't miss any videos that are coming out in the near future also if you guys want me to test out any class apps let me know the class apps down below in the comment section i will test them out for you and uh, we can get some builds going for you guys as well all right by this point i'm pretty sure you guys want to watch the gameplay so let's hop on over the gameplay i'll catch you guys in the next video i'm out deuces hey we got the uh the abnormality lapa you know they could have made this weapon so much better i mean it's not like a terrible weapon but it definitely could have been a lot better than what it is I'm gonna lie, we had some graphical errors there. For some reason. Ooh, he's poking me with a sniper. I was trying to get out of there in time, but. Good shot, my man. That was actually a really good sniper shot. And props on that. Oh. This is one reason I, I'm not a huge fan of Hardpoint on this game. It, it flips, the spawns flip extremely quick. We'll try to hit that headshot quick. So we, uh, we're going to try a different class up here. This one's going to be based off of uh, bullet velocity and effective damage range, which is one thing, which, actually two things, that the Lapa lacks on extremely bad. So we are going to give it a go here, and I see them back there. And uh, hopefully everything pans out for the best. Buddy had a knife. <laughs> Buddy had a knife. Go ahead and call it straight front in.
I'm not getting, I'm not even getting hit markers with this, uh, war machine right now. There we go. Kind of weird. I don't think this guy's upstairs. I want to say he's right here in the wall. But we'll see. And he was. That's a good call by me right there. Sometimes you can just tell by the way they're like, they're sitting. This kind of gives it away a little bit. We watch the radar. Ooh, we barely survived that. Come on, I stimmed up. Can't move because there's a freaking malt off here, and I don't know that kid's right to my right. I don't think he is. I think we're good. I think we're golden. Ooh, team, we got the spy plane. Let's get it, baby. Don't get that too often. Little sketchy play style here. Got a little dip in. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm playing this slow right now. Just a little bit. Because uh, I got my thresher up. And that thing likes to get me sometimes, especially when I'm on a streak for some reason. go we got a nuke baby try to get some uh, unstoppables here we're about to hit 10k unstoppable so try to do that for a video and uh ooh, we love to do that we do love to do that we love our c4s and this class has a much more viable class setup the other barrels do have uh, fire rate, a little bit of fire rate and a little bit of damage, but I don't think it's enough to really justify running them. Because it only brings your damage up by like one or two damage per shot. Um, and yeah, the fire rate goes up a little bit with it, but not a whole lot as well. Whereas I'd rather have a gun I can actually use at more ranges, which would be this this one right here. And uh, yeah. So the effective damage range and bullet velocity to me are a little bit more important on this weapon And the small increase of fire rate and damage Because what's the point of the, the fire rate and damage if you can't actually hit your shots, you know Because your bullet velocity is like horrible because I think this thing has like a bullet velocity of like 200 some meters per second Which is absolutely horrible. I mean, it, it's it's like really bad All in all, though, I don't think the lap is a very good weapon. I think it's a it's a fun weapon, but I definitely don't think it's a, a top tier weapon in my books. There, most of the SMGs are a lot better than it. But if you guys want a lap of class up, this is it. Now, on Warzone, for some reason, on Warzone, it's one of the fastest killing weapons in the game, which I don't understand. Warzone's weird like that. Like some of the weapons that are good in multiplayer are trash in Warzone, and vice versa. I say, I mean, like, ooh, look, okay, dude, I already knew you, buddy. I knew you. And we got some grinders in this lobby. Some guys are a higher level than me. We get shot in the back. All right, this VS money is actually starting to get on my nerves. He's ten and nine. We're about to make him go negative here. Point 
I don't know what that was, but my shot was so bad there. So bad. Sorry, my man. I had you, brother. I had to. I had to hit that. Jeez. That gets up for you, fine. All right. We're going to go ahead and call this bad puppy in. Hopefully get a few kills off of this. I got that dude freaking awesome Get a few more kills here running out of time here. I really want this under bomb, but we'll see Catch that, hold it, thank you. <laughs> Woo, nice try, buddy. He was, he was waiting and prepared for me, boy. Woo See, now if we use the, uh, the fire rate damage build, we probably would not be able to get that guy. Because the bull velocity is that bad on the Lapa. Check the double nuke. Well, we won the match. We got a hundred bomb. Like I said, the lap is not a top tier weapon. It's a fun weapon to use, though.